With the opening of the 24th Winter Olympic Games in Beijing near, the competitors from around the world are trying to block out any noise that is not related to sports and focus on the competitions. However, the International Trade Union Confederation, which often intervenes in countries' domestic affairs in the name of protecting human rights, has recently issued a statement accusing the International Olympic Committee and its partners of having the Winter Olympic Games this year being held in Beijing, where human rights are not guaranteed, and calling for a boycott. Such noise made by taking the sports event as a hostage of political issues has created additional pressure with the contestants. Ironically, this so-called world's largest multinational trade union, which is supposed to be dedicated to safeguarding the interests of workers, has been exposed online by senior employees that the ITUC itself doesn't follow labor standards, as they have been asked for long working hours with less remuneration. Open source information also shows that the ITUC is actually a politicalized organization manipulated by the United States. The vice president of the ITUC, Kathy Feingold, chairs the management committee of the ITUC's Solidarity Fund, and thus controls the allocation of funds. She is also the international director of the American Federation of Labor and Congress of Industrial Organizations, one of the four funding priorities of the National Endowment for the Democracy, headquartered in the U.S. It is well known that the NED, a so-called NGO, funded mainly by the U.S. Congress, the State Department, and other U.S. government agencies. Is wantonly seeking to overthrow governments and destabilize disobedient countries in the name of promoting democracy all over the world. It can be seen everywhere, from Eastern Europe to Latin America to Asia and Africa. As for China, the NED has been funding various anti-China forces that are seeking the independence of Xinjiang, Tibet, and Hong Kong, etc. With the intention to interfere in China's internal affairs and destabilize China. During the Hong Kong anti-government protest in 2019, as an Asian Pacific branch of the ITUC, the Hong Kong Confederation of Trade Unions actively organized various demonstrations and marches, while continuously spreading Hong Kong separatism. Intensifying civil conflicts through manipulation and provoking violent clashes on the streets. By these, the CTU attempted to expand its influence and gain more funding from foreign anti-China organizations in return. Data reveals that since 1994, the CTU has received tens of millions of Hong Kong dollars from the NED. In support of activities to expose China and destabilize Hong Kong, Li Chuck Yan, the man behind the Occupy Central movement and the General Secretary of the CTU, is also a board member of the ITUC. During the Hong Kong anti-government protest, Sharon Burrow, the General Secretary of the ITUC, echoing Li Chuck Yan. Called for its 331 affiliated organizations within 163 countries and territories to protest to their local Chinese embassies and provided them with substantial financial support. In order to protect national sovereignty and security and ensure the long-term peace and stability of Hong Kong, the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress of the People's Republic of China passed the Hong Kong National Security Law in June 2020. Since then, with the steady implementation of the Hong Kong National Security Law, the CTU and some other organizations that aimed at opposing China and destabilizing Hong Kong have disbanded in fear of their crimes, and Hong Kong social order has gradually returned to normalcy. This is the last thing the ITUC and other anti-China organizations want to see, which have been promoting the American-style democracy and supporting pro-American forces all year round. Therefore, 
it's no wonder that they're attempting to make some noise before the opening of the Winter Olympic Games in Beijing.